Hello and welcome. My name is Rainer Stuhlfahrt. I'm working as a technology manager wireless with Orden Schwarz. And in this short video, I would like to explain some details about the 5G numerologies and the time, the frame structure. So 5G offers a great flexibility on the interface. So we introduce, based on the OFDMA um, waveform, a flexibility, and this is known as numerologies. So numerologies, for example, in this table, we see we can go for different subcare spacings, and binding to the subcare spacings, we have the other parameters like the thermal durations, the slot duration, the maximum FFT size, etc., etc. The flexibility would be given that we could dynamically use different of those numerologies. For example, in higher frequencies, in frequency range 2, FR2, the 60, 120 to 40 kilohertz uh, numerology subcare spacing would be allowed. In the FR1, the lower frequencies, we can use the 15, the 30, the 60. So depending on the quality of service that we may want to offer, we could also now select the most suitable air interface mechanism. So the numerology, the slot structure, is defined as 14 OFDMA symbols per slot. But this brings into also kind of definition the time domain that's shown in the next slide. We keep on the highest level the 10 millisecond raster. So one radio frame equals 10 milliseconds. This is for the expert here. We know that this is also applied in 3G and in 4G in LTE. So that's what we keep. Then we have a so-called half frame, 5 millisecond. This is especially used in the synchronization blocks, the SSB, which operate in a burst structure, and one SSB burst with a number of occasions, this always lasts five milliseconds. Based on that, we have a subframe definition. A subframe lasts one millisecond in 5G. But now, based on these con constant values, we have a flexible, a more dynamic part, because the subcare spacing, reciprocal, the symbol duration, that leads into a kind of different length of the slot. And that means now we have either one slot equal one millisecond, or two slots, or four slots, or 16. Yeah? So we have a flexible duration of one slot. Uh, when I said the 14 OFDMA symbols per slot, this is the default mechanism. In the next slide, I have one special extra case, but this is only valid for the 60 kilohertz subcare spacing case. So here, to allow a kind of larger cell size, 3GB also introduced an extended cyclic prefix, and that would lead only to 12 OFDMA symbols in time. Yeah? So 14 or 12, but let's keep it on the default. That's why I typically say one slot equals 14 OFDMA symbols. To go into more details in the next slide, uh, to cover and to fit into this one millisecond raster at the end, we have to slightly extend the cyclic prefix a little bit. So here I'll show you one example on the 15 kilohertz case, and also in the next slide we'll see an example in the 60 kilohertz case. So just for the expert level here, let's say in a couple of multiple, let's say every 14th um, symbol structure, the cyclic prefix is slightly adapted, but this has to fit into the one millisecond case. That's the only reason. More important will be the next slide when we see about these kind of numerologies, the subcare spacings. So in math, in details, the numbers 15, 30, 60, 120, etc., they follow this 15 kilohertz multiplied by 2 and 2 by the power of mu. And this Greek symbol mu is nothing else than an integer, by the way. So that sees we have always the subcare spacings on a multiple number of two exponent. So what is the advantage of that? And as we see, if we want to mix different numerology, like in a connection that I can hop dynamically between different numerologies, let's take the 15 kilohertz subcare spacing in the bottom of the slide. We have one slot lasting one millisecond. In the 30 kilohertz, the red color, we would have two slots in a one millisecond case. And in the 60 kilohertz subcare spacing case, we would end up with four slots in one um, subframe. So that means at least in the one millisecond time raster, we keep the timing aligned, and this is a fantastic idea to switch between uh, multiple numerologies. So last but not least, when we talk in the frequency domain, we'll also see some slight difference between LTE and 5G. This is this definition of a resource block. While in LTE, a resource block had a definition in the time domain of 0.5 millisecond and 12 sub in frequency, in the 5G world, a resource block is only defined as a frequency domain. 
always 12 subcarrier, and of course the subcarrier spacing depends on the numerology I just presented. The reason why we do not identify a resource block in the time domain is in the allocation. So we have the flexibility to allocate either the entire slot to one receiver, to one transmitter, or we can also describe a so-called mini slot that, for example, could be only two OFDMA symbols will be allocated to one user. So we can speed up the TTI, the transmit time interval, and have then a better effect in latency. But this will be a topic for other videos which we go present in future. So I hope I could bring some short explanations about the numerology and the frame structure. And thank you for your time. Goodbye.